45 nice You must be the Monopoly guy. I... Major injuries, then. Shit. Good. I briefed the recovered soldiers and sent them on their way as quickly as I could, but nevertheless feared they would not make it in time. That's just so much voice acting. It's crazy. The additional support was invaluable. Your men saved more than a few lives. This is like quadruple the amount of in any other expansion. Though not all, I regret to say. I take it that I am addressing Lucia Junius. I am the Forum's envoy, Forchano Leveilleur. Leveilleur. And you are owed an explanation for these most dire developments. The great grandsons of the great Louis Schwab. Another trial wrought by the final days. I was beginning to suspect as much. You doubtless feel some consternation having been forced to abandon your original plan. But trust me when I say you were right to send the refugees elsewhere. Beasts have been sighted within the capital. Perhaps it was a stroke of grim fortune that the population was decimated beforehand as they've yet to appear in any great number, but in time. In any case, Maxima leads the remainder of the contingent in an effort to cull the creatures and evacuate the populace as we speak. Once the airships have taken to the skies, I pray your men can be persuaded to join him. You'll permit us to retain our weapons? I wouldn't have sent you after the Scions were I expecting you to stab them in the back. And I, for one, would not consider past transgressions more relevant than future contributions. Regardless of the circumstances that saw us at odds before, we need men of courage now, more than ever. Damn, you missed the dungeon? Yeah, I invited you too. You pile of shit. No, I'm just... <laughs> I know you're busy. Welcome back, slacker. That's right. Fluff me. Maybe I want to be fluffed, okay? We swore to defend Garlemald, and so we shall. Well, let's do it. Where are we going next? It seems you have everything under control. You will excuse me then, for mine own duties await. The moon. We've already a been moment, to the moon. Master Fortuno. Yeah, wait, I already went there. You did desire to express your appreciation for services rendered, did you not? <laughs> oh. I did. Though, if you intend to again ask that Charlian alter its course, you will find my gratitude insufficient. Tis nothing so onerous. I wish to hear the details of this grand endeavor of yours. Do you swear to listen and to learn, and not to embark upon some scheme to impede us? I swear. Important question. 
Any other, I would doubt. But you, I trust to keep your word. For not once have you broken it. Damn. Father slapping down some truth. Very well. I will request that the forum make you privy to our plans. You may await our summons at the Baldessian Annex, assuming the decision is in your favor. Does that suffice? Yes, Father. It does. You have my thanks. Excellent. You can regale us with tales of your most recent sojourn to the first while we wait. No, I'd rather not. It was a bad acid trip. Is my house wrapped in aluminum foil? No. It is not. Did you hear something just now? The fuck do you mean it's wrapped in aluminum foil? Oh, God. How did the bunny make it down here? <laughs> Chocolate pudding. Um. Oh my god, they're all down here. Son of a bitch. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. Oh, Yurianji. And to this bitter climb. Stop with your fucking rhymes. Comfort. It is heartening to see such an assembly upon my return. I thought often of you whilst I looked down upon our star's brilliance from the moon above. Hey, you put in hack, yeah, put in if you don't hear me. True, true. Free burrito at Chipotle. Yes, but what are you doing here? i dressed like that. Aren't you cold? Verily. I fear for my health should I proceed to expound upon our purpose ere I procure more suitable garments. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Then allow me to summarize. Did allow We're here me to because none of you lot are up there. Nor has anyone deigned to send word about any changes in the plans. It's food is what it is. <laughs> at least that's what I thought at first, but... Then folks got to wondering if you weren't in a spot of bother, so we decided to take matters into our own hands. Come down here and help, if our help be needed. Shoot that thing? No, dude, it's a British bunny that is from the moon. So she says, but it's also something of a convenient excuse to visit a theorist. Uyanje made it sound absolutely marvelous, more so before the impending doom, but still. <laughs> and it's not like there will ever be a better time. What with the aforementioned doom? The lecture, it's 8.20 at night. Pudding! To be found. pudding. suffer Arianje's inferior works no more! Hey! Maybe consider the plight of present company before you go blathering on about pudding and doom? It's a recording. Who was the... Who's watching the recording at 8.20 at night? Get that shit out. As I was saying, Just give should you require any assistance with whatever, we are at your disposal. So we got the bunny army down here now. We were born from Heidelin's love for the lives of this star. So naturally, we would much prefer to see them continue. Twiddling our thumbs up on the moon is hardly conducive to that, though, is it? True. I not when you've all got such precious thoughts and feelings and hopes for the future deserving of more active preservation. Speaking to Oriange made us realize that while we've carried out our duties to the letter, we failed to fulfill them in spirit. Want me to fail? You're not gonna fail. You have like an A in that class. Shut the hell up. From there, it was just a hop, skip, 
and a jump towards resolving to do better. So please, show us how. Help us help you. You're probably top of the class, too. Can't control when they release the lecture. No, but you can control when you click that play button. Ooh, in your face. Forgive me, but are they... Oh, yeah. They're the space bunnies. Uh-huh. Thy distant collaborators, indeed. Hey, old fellow. Well met. <laughs> You'd be a member of the forum, would you? It's an honor and a pleasure to meet you at last. I'm Livingway, Hydlin's right paw. That last bit is very important. As am I, if I may humbly say so. So when am I supposed to work all day the rest of the week? You got two more days off, do you not? So how's that the rest of the week? I can keep going. I can swing this bat right back. I uh, bid you welcome to our star, Livingway. On behalf of the forum, yeah, no. I thank you for traveling such a distance to meet us. Now let him freeze. Where's Thanker at? As now you have surmised, about. preparations for the Exodus have not proceeded as smoothly as we had hoped. I should be happy to personally escort you to our headquarters in Charlian, where so. you may advise us as you deem fit. It was with reluctance that I set aside the great work of readying the moon for habitation. Be assured that I did so only after the Loperids made plain their earnest desire to come hither, and I myself felt a growing certainty that their contributions here would prove invaluable. Tis trite, perhaps, but I followed my heart. May the disciple spirits to stuck us up. I don't know. This sounds like something I would say to him. <laughs> I am no esteemed philosopher of Eld. Nevertheless, tis my hope that what little knowledge I shared shall serve them well. And perchance help save us oh, all. She's yelling at me. Well, thou attendest two days. the forum and lend thine own wisdom. You have till Sunday, right? When it's due. <laughs> hey, pay attention to your lecture if and stop listening to me, settled, okay? We start moving before Uriangere <laughs> catches his death. Even I'm freezing out here. Oh, I dare say you'll warm up quickly once you're aboard the airship. Sat shoulder to shoulder with our fur covered friends. When do you want me to build a snowman? You watch it? Well, lunch break sounds good, you know? When you're at work on your lunch break. Just peep in every now and then. Maybe just guess. Don't really read it. You know, there's a... Ma'am, you're at a 10. I'm going to need you to calm down, okay? Me to zero so you get my viewer count. I mean, you might get some more work done that way. <laughs> Strats, he's just fucking. God, so angry.
quite so soon. Continue nods to meet ASR and ongoing efforts. Pop out chat and close the tab. It still won't count. You can have the volume up. They made it to where you can't even mute the tab itself anymore that I'm aware of. I got to be like like 10% or more or something like that. Nice, you soloed it and got the whistle. Hell yeah. What did you solo it as? A sage? Chat. Don't let her receive you. She put me to zero all the damn time. <laughs> that fucking e boat's the best. He comes back and summons his knights, and it's a healer target attack and supposed to be blocked by their prime members, is mitigated heavily. Alright, so where are we going? Go to Shalyan. Oh. We're just gonna have this little meeting outside. They just change it so much. Like you can, you can do the testing for yourself. Any kind of muting of the tab, any, any sorts of anything. If you're not being here with the volume on, it just fucking just takes away. It's it's just weird. Ah, 
so are we going... Oh, yes, here we are. Hmm. Destination. Did I come in the wrong door? I'm gonna assume this is gonna be a cutscene. There is a matter I wish to raise with you before we enter. Yes, Captain Stuby. We are here to listen and to learn. But if the forum's plans are more or less what I expect, then I should like to make a proposal that will serve our ends. Oh, shit. By your leave, of course. By your leave. I don't see why not. Your words and wits have gotten us this far. Agreed. I will present our queries so that you may consider the most advantageous way to advance your proposal without distraction. Thank you, everyone. If I may have your attention, the ad hoc session will now commence. Ad hoc. Oh. The purpose of today's assembly is to brief the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, at their request, on the Great Exodus. You may enter. I'll rip both your little stashes hanging off your lip, little fucker. <laughs> oh wait, I'm here to listen and learn. Fathers eyeing me. On behalf of the Forum, I commend your heroic actions on the Magna Glacius. We shall not soon forget your service to us and the people of Radzatar. The Sartrap, whom we have informed of the refugees' new arrangements, sings your praises as well. Thank you, Mustache Man. As an expression of our gratitude, we will endeavor to answer your questions as fully and openly as we are able. First, then let us begin. Do you know the Muffin Man? First, it is the form's objective to ferry the life and knowledge of this star to the moon. Am I correct? You are. It is for this purpose that Charlian has labored these many long years. We have collected biological samples and scientific records from across the star. When the time comes, they will be moved from their places in Labyrinthos and Numenon and conveyed to safety. Once that critical task has been accomplished, we will begin transporting the Charlian citizenry, which has been categorized into groups. The earliest arrivals are to ensure hospitable environs for those who come after. Following our people, we will send those of other nations in turn, beginning with our allies. Radzat Han was foremost among these. But since the final days have already come to Thavnir, we saw fit to include the refugees with earlier groupings. An ambitious plan. You have accounted for the safety of all nations and tribes then. As many as we can. And how, pray tell, do you decide who to leave behind? Oh. Oh, I gotta calm down there, you fiery woman, you. To journey beyond the sky is an unprecedented and immeasurably difficult endeavor. Introducing sources of inevitable conflict would condemn all to certain death. Quick. 
questions as to the validity of that approach aside, are your plans proceeding apace? We're under the impression that your primary means of celestial transportation is incomplete. If only in that it does not meet our optimal parameters, that is correct. This arc, as some have taken to calling it, is fully operational and could be launched even today. We need it. We need to borrow it. However, the final days have progressed more quickly than we anticipated. At present, the ship is incapable of attaining speeds sufficient to meet our evacuation targets. Should we put the vessel into service, as it is now, we will be unable to travel to the moon and back quickly enough to complete the necessary number of trips. Precious lives and knowledge will be lost. Firebird is mine. Yeah, we need it. Does it come in black? Seven hells. Is there anything to be done? The ether burner, the primary means of propulsion once the craft is in the space between stars, is undergoing testing to determine whether it can be made more efficient. Though cargo is being loaded for the initial phase of the exodus, we are prepared to continue our experimentation up to the day before launch, should it prove necessary. Yeah, I need to borrow the keys to that car. <clears throat> I don't mind if I do. What if the Scions were to solve your problem? We shall help devise a means to improve the ether burner's efficiency on two conditions. Damn. Little man's laying it down, huh? If we succeed, you must allow us to meet with Hydaelyn. It was simple enough to deduce. You have a Concord, and so you would never have abandoned the Anti Tower had you no other means of communication. One far more convenient, I suspect. Dang. Well, your son is smart as shit. It's number two. The second condition, also to be met upon our success, is that we be permitted to propose another use for your Ark. Oh, and what do they get out of this? Besides, you know, hope to God we don't fail and the earth blows up, all that good shit. Sorry. We would be at liberty to refuse this proposal. Of course. If we cannot prove its merit to the 99 here, who are we to stake on it the lives of all peoples of this star? Delightful as always, Master Alfino. <laughs> oh, we couldn't have asked for a finer plan. Allow us to solve this complex engineering problem of which we were entirely unaware until moments ago. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> the satire writes itself. <laughs> Yet, what field has not benefited from a change in perspective? When we are at wit's end, what we need is not the same dry theories recited ad nauseam, but fresh inspiration. I, for one, have faith in my erstwhile students to provide it. And I find their terms to be perfectly acceptable. Order. 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 We have no time to waste on debate. I call a vote. Let's pull his mustache out and see if he raises his hand. All in favor of agreeing to the Scion's terms? It better be everybody in this fucking room. That's what I thought.
Father, you better raise your hand, you pile of crap. Ooh. 71 in favor, 28 against. The eyes have it. Dang, even he agreed. For Cheneau, as the architect of this project, you are the best candidate to show them its current state. And bear in mind that regardless of your personal misgivings, <laughs> this is the will of the Forum. Yes. Make him suffer. Very well. I call this session to a close. Return to your tasks with urgency. The final days wait for none. So we're going to repair it, then speak to Highland, and then use it. And they get shit out of this. Just the craft we're going to borrow. You can't solo Stormblood Trials. Why don't you get good fucking scrub? we couldn't see going underground we almost how far off am I into the new place we almost had a good stopping spot I think I, I gotta be close to a decent one Don't go down. Stop down. That's what you're saying. Are we getting antsy? Ah, uh, well, I see the time left. I usually, I usually go in between eight and nine. It's closing up on nine right now. So, can I go down or no? Until you go to the new zone. Okay. Let's go a couple more, because I can at least get to the the other eighth right crystal, right? Do you hate it this part? Why'd you hate this part? Should I answer new zone? He wants to talk to us. He's not. I like, I like how he's opening up. All right. See, can we get to the new spot down here? I got, I got a lot of. Uh... All right. So we have to go the long way. Of course we do. Would be convenient if we could just go stroll right across, wouldn't it? Yeah, I can definitely see getting into the new zone. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So we're what? Um, we are 88. I will say, we've been doing a lot of cutscenes, so the it's kind of caught up with us in our level, which is kind of sad.
is really cool for infrastructure here. It's pretty dope. bad for the zodiac thing they kind of built that up and it was just kind of like over with you know very quickly over with I don't think he really wants to earn your trust. I think he's more worried about he wants your safety, you know? He doesn't want you to go off and do stupid shit. Probably afraid to lose you. That kind of fatherly thing, you know? This song will fucking make me beat up some. <laughs> To San Tamaria de Matonia. Let me go this way. I want to attune to this crystal mother. Is this the weirdest animal to ride unless you're a lala? This looks weird. It needs to be a bigger character model. I still think you have the next housing area in uh, Shalion. That's what I think. It's gonna be in Galamod. We're gonna rebuild it. Fucking Sonny's gonna be ecstatic about it the entire time. Yes! Nice little fly down here. Holy shit. Let's 
it's a llama fell. I could swap them out. No, been there, done that. Damn near lost me eyebrows. <laughs> think, Coco, think. We'd be well on our way to paradise. Visionaries patting themselves on the backs for their grand accomplishments if you'd only think. Yes, that does sound rather lovely. Yeah! I mean, Master Force, you know, what a pleasant surprise. <gasps> We're not blasting off already, are we? The schedule remains unchanged, for better or worse. Which is why the Forum has elected to accept assistance in resolving the ether burner conundrum. <laughs> not seen you lot down here before. There are Archons among their number, but engineering is not their expertise. Nevertheless, the Forum concedes the slim possibility that they may have insights to offer. If not, you are at liberty to return them to the surface, by whatever means you see fit. I assure you that won't be necessary. Now, about your troubles with the ether burner. Aye, aye, I'll walk you through it. Suppose I could do with a change of pace. As the name ought to tell you, the ether burner burns ether. Ambient or otherwise, and transforms it into motive force. Think of it like a giant bomb that never stops exploding. That sounds lovely. Even out in that black void where the ether's right sparse, it's strong enough to move our arc. <laughs> and it probably won't kill you like an actual bomb. <sighs> but it ain't perfect. According to my calculations, to travel to the moon and back fast enough for the forum's liking, the conversion rate needs to be 6% more efficient. A measly 6%, you say? But if I could have squeezed even another 0.6 out of it, don't you think I'd have built it that way in the first place? <laughs> Hast thou consulted with the Loperits? Yes, they too are conducting their own research, for lack of a ready answer. The moon's propulsion systems are considerable, naturally, yet they are commensurately massive. It is no easy feat to convert their technology into an efficient means of propulsion for a teeny tiny toy boat, as they say, and as I most certainly do not. Yes, exactly! Damn it all, I asked for a fine adamantite and they send me uppity rabbits with inscrutable, ancient, incompatible technology! You're trying to drive me mad! Do you speak of elegant refined adamantite, perchance? You know of it? Only in the most general terms, I'm afraid. T'was an alloy of elegant make, but the secrets of its production were closely guarded. As I recall, the record stated it was vital to Dalamud's construction and launch. Oi, that's the stuff. No material more conductive far as I know. Slotting some ends like blowing up a dam and watching the river of Aoife come rushing through. I ain't a living soul that knows how to make it, though. We were fortunate enough to salvage some for the Aoife burner, just a wee bit, mind from a chunk of Dalamud that came hurtling into the northern empty during the Calamity. Ooh. With more? Well, that extra 6% efficiency will be child's play. It's a crying shame that we've no other sources. Is the Crystal Tower not considered? Surely the many shards of Dalamud scattered throughout Eorzea would suffice. Why not get the refined adamantite from them? Oh, <laughs> we tried, believe you me. But only a few specialized pieces would have had any in them to begin with. Drive calls from Ragnarok class internment hulks. Those are the prize bits we really need. According to the gleaners, getting to them means delving deep into the shards. And the defenses are still very operational and very eager to blow them up. It's rough going in there, even for the cream. Not sure they'd make it out alive. Oh, this sounds like a dungeon coming. 
Weren't we near that part of the Ragnarok when we went to destroy Bahamut? <laughs> Heavens, are you all right? You look pale as a... Well... Let's put that battle from your mind for now. Deep breaths. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> hmm. There are multiple internment hulks in Eorzea alone, so handling this ourselves may not be the most efficient option. Rather, if we could salvage Adamantite from the shards simultaneously. Thancred, is the link shell we established before you went to Garlemald still active? Of course. The floor is yours. What's all this? Gathering firewood, so to speak. We alone can accomplish little, but joined by others, we may yet build a bonfire to carry us heaven's ward. This is Alphano. The Scions have need of you. Understood. I will contact the Lord Commander and dispatch our finest at once. My sisters are somewhat preoccupied with the final days, so I will lead the Twelveswood expedition myself. Are you aware of any other sources of refined adamantite? Logically, such an invaluable alloy would have been utilized solely where absolutely necessary, in components intended to conduct or collect surpassing amounts of ether. Any extant instrumentation or devices would have likely found their way into the hands of etherologists or enthusiasts. Magical artifacts of Allegan design? The Eastern Alliance will send word to one and all. Are there other ways we may offer aid? No shards of the Lesser Moon scar our soil, but our stake in this cause is no less for it. Is there anything in Othard that might be of use to you? Othard, you say? Oh, you got friends in far places, lad. <laughs> Any road, if you're offering, I wouldn't say no to one of those Far Eastern sacred relics. Some of them hold enough ether to summon a whole damn primal. Combine a source like that with the ether burner, and three, two, one, kaboom! I gather you heard his explosive enthusiasm. Might you secure us a suitable relic? It shall be done. I know little of machines, but I promise we will do our utmost to gather the materials you need to finish your starship. I am glad for the work, in truth. Better to busy oneself than wait and fret over disasters foretold. Then why are we all still standing about yapping this plunder for the taking? And I'm a born plunderer. I'll be an old Charlian before you know it. Start mixing the grog. Hell yeah, brother. I'm certain that can be arranged. Thank you all, and do be careful. Just like that. Aye, just like that. Our refined adamantite is on its way. Now let us consider our next steps, shall we? There's yet much to be done. The fucking wall is great. Smile from his father. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. Beep, beep, beep. This song will uh, drive me bonkers.
Uh oh. Ooh, an Ulda. Oh, chat. Bad things happen when you leave Lala Bells and Ulda. Let's just be honest. Pippin. Our course of action is clear. We must harvest refined adamantite from the shards of Dalamud and procure arcane relics of Allegan Make. Oops. That's what I meant. <laughs> Summon the best and brightest of our immortal flames and form an expeditionary party at once. Call upon the Sultan Sworn and Brass Blades for support as you must. Papashan, send word to the guilds. We will require the expertise of master artisans if we are to have any hope of identifying and recovering these elusive materials. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting to it after this. Fear, guys. Holy we have fuck, need of going. your stone torches. The, the, the mountain? The mountainats? <laughs> they are to assist the immortal flames in scouring the ruins and to help secure the surrounding areas. I trust I can count on your support. Yo, when do we get, um... The patch notes for 608 because it's got it's balancing it's big as commander of the stone torches not till tomorrow my son Zimberk will personally see it done we can't read them beforehand Pippin, i would have you All lead right. the raiding party assemble your finest and with tizona's blade clear the way oh i like this song Lord Lollarito, I pray you take charge of the search for Alagon relics. Surely you know of some being traded on open or clandestine markets, or sleeping in collector's vaults. Of course, I ask not that you do this out of the kindness of your heart. By all means, profit on the transactions. <laughs> I wish you the joy of it. The final days it's like hell yeah, I'm gonna profit off that shit. If circumstances are truly as dire as they say, Uldar's best efforts may be for naught. And yet, when we Eorzeans rose from the ashes to rebuild our broken realm, did we not learn one simple truth? That which seems all but impossible to overcome alone may yet be possible if we stand together. It was the Scions who united us then, and it is the Scions who call upon us now. Uldar will answer that call. We will summon our courage and join the fight for our world's future. You know your duties. I, Nanamo Ulnamo, 17th in the line of Ul, bid you good luck and good speed. Damn, she's kind of grown up a little bit. I like that. Ah, there's the wee lad. We can't see his fucking eyes. Demon boy. We fielded a goodly number, but our ranks are heavy with healers, and an abundance of restorative magics will be of little help in destroying Dalamud's defenses. Still, it has ever been thus with Gridania. We must steel ourselves for a protracted engagement. Comes Lise. In that case, might I suggest taking us along? Commander Hext, what are you doing here? None of the shards in Girabania are big enough to hold an internment hulk. So we said to ourselves, why not lend our neighbors a hand? 
We thought you might be short on people with a talent for breaking things. Absolutely are. While it pains me to admit it, you are right. Our artificiency is so plain to see. Yes, you're weak. It might have been a lifetime ago, but I was once one of the Scions assigned to the Shroud. I know this forest well. I know your people. And I know we will be stronger if we fight this fight together. Then I will impose upon you with a clear conscience. Come, let us speak of how to integrate our forces. Dope. It's cool to see everything kind of come together after all these years. It's pretty dope. We'll admit. I won't let it all be for nothing. I promise you, Papalimo. Meanwhile, run, boy, run. Everyone has already... Ah. See Lord Hin for the first time? No. Oh yes, it's Matt Murdock. And so, Disciple. in summation, the Eastern Alliance, as well as the Honorable Lord Lollarito himself, reached out to me for assistance in procuring these treasures of the divine, and I, in turn, do beseech the Confederacy for aid. Is that... Hancock? What a surprise this is. And a fortuitous one at that. I have a favor to ask, you see. Alright, can I get to this last one or not? That's kind of what I want to do. 